Good evening and once again welcome to my YouTube channel PSO on Excel International Math by Mr. Kamoto. And uh, in this video I want us to look at example 5 of pure mathematics 4 topic differentiation and we continue to apply implicit differentiation and by now we know what implicit differentiation is all about. And we are told that find dy dx at the point 1 1 where e raised to power 2x ln y is equal to x plus y minus 2. And again, in this very special expression, you can see that uh, we have terms which have mixed variables x and y in the same term. And of course, on the other side, x and y. And it becomes very difficult again to make y the subject of the formula. So, we are expected to, to differentiate implicitly. And what we know is that um, if we differentiate the first term, we need to concentrate on the x. And when we talk about on the x, we need to consider e raised to power 2x the derivative of that, and we're going to talk about dy dx, is going to be 2 e raised to power 2x, um, 2 e raised to power 2x ln y, because we have just differentiated with a sharp i on the x. If we want now to differentiate the term that is carrying y, of course, with respect to x, we are going to have plus the differential of ln 1 is, is obvious ln y or ln anything is 1 over y. Everything else becomes a, co a, co a coefficient. Uh, ln y uh, multiplied by e raised to power 2x and remember this is dy dx because we are, di we are focusing on y with respect to x which is equals to 1 and that is the end of the story as far as this one is concerned plus 1 dy dx differential of y is 1 and again we borrow uh, dy dx at that particular point so in a nutshell, we are going to talk about um, we're going to talk about something like we substitute we substitute one one x is equals to one and y is equals to one. So the whole of the first term it becomes two e raised to power two times one e raised to power two multiplied by ln one. And ln1 is simply 0. It's going to be 0. But let's just write it here. 2 e raised to the power 2 ln1 uh, plus 1 over 1, which is 1 e raised to the power 2 dy dx um, uh, is equals to 1 plus dy dx that is just what we have and we realize that uh, 2 times we realize that when x is equals to 1 and y is equals to 1 then the whole of this one becomes 0 because ln 1 is 0 so we are left with just this term, which is going to be e raised to power 2, e raised to power 2 dy dx is equals to 1 plus dy dx. So what do we have now? We have e raised to power 2 dy dx minus dy dx this term comes over is equals to 1 
and if we need to develop this further it's going to be dy dx which is common e squared minus 1 close the bracket is equals to 1 and if we divide both sides by e2 minus 1 then we are going to make dy dx the subject of the formula dy dx is going to be 1 over e squared minus 1 and i think that is the final submission as far as that question is concerned please note that again every time we are differentiating a term that has y with respect to x we must introduce dy dx and that is the rule of implicit differentiation again visit my youtube channel subscribe widely and let us walk together okay